some more examples of calculating the derivative and using that to help us find the slope. And these are a series of videos I'm making for the student enrolled in a calculus-based physics course. Just uh, the calculus review in this video. And there have been a couple videos before this that had more review. So here's a function of time, f of t. Again, this is not f times t. This is function notation, function with a parameter t. And the definition of the function, 3t cubed minus 4t plus 7. The slope will be the derivative of this function. And it's a polynomial. So the 3t cubed minus 4t plus 7. We're going to take the derivative of each term. So the derivative of 3t cubed and the minus sign because we have a minus in front of that 4. Uh, derivative of 4t term, the derivative of the constant term. When we take the derivative here, we have a 3. The 3 will come down as a multiplying factor. And then the power will be reduced to 2. So it gives us the 9t squared term. We have the original 3. The power comes down as a multiplying factor when we do the derivative operation. And the power is then reduced by 1 to a 2. For the derivative of 4t, there's a 1 on the power for the t that mathematicians, uh, by convention, do not write in. So this is 4t to the first power. The 1 comes down as a multiplier. That just is a 4. Then we get t to the 0. t to the 0 is a 1 factor. We reduce the power by 1 and we get then minus 4 and the derivative of a constant is equal to 0. So this last term is equal to 0 and our slope function then is 9t squared minus 4. What's the value of the slope at this should be t equals 3. Uh, t is our parameter here so I'll fix that. What's the slope for the case of t equals 3? We have the slope function. We now replace t with 3. So 9, 3 squared minus 4. The 3 squared has to be done first. So we get 9 times 9. That's 81. We subtract 4. The slope would be 77. Fairly steep. Um, haven't put any units on this. This is just a mathematical example, but that would be the slope. Um, where is the uh, slope equal to 0 for this function? Where is the slope equal to 0? Well, the slope function we have is 9t squared minus 4. So we put in a 0 for the value of the slope. 9t squared minus 4. We now need to solve this quadratic equation. It's a simple one because it does not have the middle linear term in t. So I add 4 to both sides. I divide by 9. What number is it that you could square and come up with 4 ninths? If you take a square root of both sides, you would only get uh, 2 over 3. The square root does not produce a minus, so we'd get plus um, 2 over 3. But there's another possibility, and that would be minus 2 over 3. So those are the two locations, two t values, where I claim that the slope is 0. So I have uh, this graph here, and this slope, this slope of 0 occurs at the 2 thirds position, so about here, and at the minus 2 thirds position, about here. That's where if I would draw a tangent line, the slope would have a value of 0. Uh, but the calculus gives us this uh, position exactly plus two-thirds for the t-value and minus two-thirds for the t-value. That's where the slope is equal to zero. So let's try another example. Let's suppose that we have x squared minus 3x plus 5. x squared minus 3x plus 5. And we want to know the value of the slope at x equals 4 using x instead of t for the parameter in this example. Uh, well, to get the slope function, we use the derivative. and you can do this hopefully on your own now, but derivative of x squared, that produces 2x to the first power. The derivative of minus 3x produces minus 3. The derivative of constant is 0. So there's our slope function. We want the value of x to be 4 to find this slope. So we replace x with 4. So 2 times 4, that produces 8 minus 3, and we get a 5. Um, where does this function have a slope value equal to zero. Where does this function have a slope value equal to zero? How would we determine that? 
where does this function have a slope equal to zero? Well, I've kind of given it away in my uh, slip of the tongue there, but we use the slope function. So we're going to put in a zero for the uh, slope equals 2x minus 3. Then I solve this, add 3 to both sides, divide by 2. So we'd have 3 halves. And I'm claiming that calculus tells us that the uh, slope has a zero at x of 1.5. Here's the graph of this function. And yes, if we would put a tangent line on here at 1.5, that looks like the low point of that curve. And the slope of zero for that tangent line, if I get this into your view, that would help you. Um, but at 1.5, we have a uh, case where I put a tangent line on the curve at that point. A tangent line is a line that just grazes the curve. That slope is zero. That happens at 1.5. So we've confirmed that. Another way you could confirm for this, this case is an easy one. And you could complete the square. And you'd also deduce that the uh, uh, graph has a zero. The turning point of the parabola has an x value of 1.5. I'll let you look at a pre-calculus book to uh, do that completing the square. It's too much trouble if you know how to use calculus. Using calculus gives you, very quickly, the slope function. Taking the derivative of the function gives you the slope function. The slope as a value of x is equal to 2x minus 3. We put in the x value. We get the slope of 5. If we want to know where the slope is 0, we put a 0 in for the slope. And then we solve for the x value. So keep practicing with that. And you're just uh, ready to go at physics using calculus tools.